Hello, John Lord here again, and I want to start here because one of my favourite plants is here. Even the name is amazing, it's called Fair Maids of France. And it's the double form. It's relate, closely related, believe it or not, to the buttercup, the yellow buttercup in the field. But look how little, tight little buttons of flower, and each one held up well over the leaves. It's an absolutely beautiful plant. It's hard enough to get. The problem with it is it dies back early and people sometimes forget it's there and dig it out by accident. But that's been there for the last 10 years. This is actually a white bed, but as I said before, over time we have in introduced other colours because it's a bit boring. We have the telectrum, which I mentioned, the white telectrum, white rose, and white geranium sylvaticum. Now, that's the that's geranium sylvaticum album, the white gerani geranium sylvaticum and the reason I'm this is what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about geranium sylvaticums now around the corner here oh and just as a matter of interest um, London Pride is particularly good this year and there it is over there again particularly good and, and also that's geranium uh, uh, Sylvaticum uh, snow, that's geranium uh, sanguinium striatum, one of the best of the smaller geraniums you can get. That'll be flowering for three months. Now, London, the thing about London Pride is if you look it up on the internet, put London Pride plant after it, otherwise, you get, you get people marching coming up instead. Nice, colourful costumes and stuff. And in the middle of our London Pride here, look what we have we have a dock leaf, a docker. And um, that's the lazy man's way of getting a dock leaf out, or dock plant out. I've missed most of it. Well, have to do. And we have the devil's walking stick here coming out. And here's the the blue geranium sylvaticum. That's that's the species. That's the common one. And you notice, the, see the way it's self-seeded? All in here. And we're going to lift some of it, and we're going to move it somewhere else, but we're going to lift the pink one. So we go around and look at the pink one around here. Now, here we have blue geranium sylvaticum, self-seeded, and also it's seeded to a nice pink one nice pink form. Now what we, we have a gap around here and we're going to put some pink sylvaticum in. But we're going to put something here, a gap here. Then we put something here. Fill the gap. We'll go in here into the bushes. And dig up something in here where you can't be seen. If you look in here, you could, can you get in here? We have a regersia. See that lovely big leaf regersia? And underneath we have some stilbees, which are totally lost. So we dig one out. That's a still be chinensis. The rocks. And that's that hole fill. That's it. And what you do. See those long compound leaves? Remove some of the leaf. Take the pressure off the roots. And the new strong new growths, nip them out. Those soft new growths, because they're they won't that'll give the plant what the plant as soon as you lift the plant, the second you lift the plant, the plant knows immediately that something's wrong. 
and it will start immediately trying to to, uh, to try and sort itself out in such a way that it can survive. So it has lot, it's been a lot of damage done to its roots, so it will try and shut down a lot of stuff. So if you're helping it out, it's not when you remove leaves from a plant, you've taken the plant is not working as hard to produce what to, to find water and stuff for the leaves because it's less leaves, and it gives it a chance to get its to get its roots in order again. And once its roots are back in contact properly with the soil, off it'll go again. Now what we do with this is give it a load of water, and then that's that done. And now we're going to lift what I came to do. Actually, I, I only did this sort of as an aside. We're going to take up this geranium here. Pink one. And we're going to be fairly brutal. Cut all the flowers off. And then you have a look, you just see what there is. You've got look at that piece, roots and all. Nice piece here. And a nice piece. We got four decent pieces. And we're going to plant these out now. And we've got five pieces. We have a little bit of a gap here. What will we do? Will we remove that geranium to here? Or will we go inside and get another? Get another piece of Let's get another piece of um, Estilbe. That's done. Be grand before the end of the, of the Chelsea Flower Show. So where where did I leave my other bits? And that there, that's tetrapanics. That's supposed to have a leaf, a massive big leaf that size. But I'm not so sure. We're too far. We're too cold in the winter for it to work for us. But we're going to give it a year. That should have lots of leaves now. But we we won't. We won't uh, give in, uh, give up on it yet. I know in Dublin City it does very well, but we're too far out. Us country people, we we have to, we we don't get as looked after as well by nature by the people in the city. They get everything. They get the best. They get the best public transport, and they get the best weather, and they get the best everything. But I'm not even going for election. You ready? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put these. Geraniums that we, we dug up and butchered in here. There's a gap here. And we just do a little bit of work in it first. And we put now it looks a bit you look a bit sad. One Sometimes when you plant little plants like this, it's no harm to put a little bamboo cane at each one, so in case you forget to there until they get going. You can easily forget to there. Two. One, two. That's a rose. That's a rose behind me here. Mm -hmm. 
I won't make sudden any sudden movements. Oh. So you're going to have nice pink flowers here. Maybe put one in the middle. And what we do, we get us. You know what we do? We'll get a cane and we'll mark them all so we know where we are. Yeah, we're just going to make get a canes, a few canes. Saves you having to buy them. Two, three, four. We put them in front. And there's just one more. And they'll, they'll be taken away next month. But sometimes it shows you what you've done better. You get a better idea of what you've done. We've plump of geraniums there. Now there's a gap here. What we do is, you see the Regersius behind? called Regersia Brandt Peacock and the one on the inside is getting a bit it's getting overwhelmed so we Put them here. Yeah, finish off. And what you normally do is when you're digging a hole out like this, you throw the soil into the hole where the plant came from. Now I wouldn't split the reserves here take too long to recover. Very delicate at the moment. Foley is very delicate, so easily damaged. So that's it. It was moved in one piece, one big lump. In fact, it's hardly even knows it's been moved. Now we'll water all that now and it'll be all perfect. And in two or three weeks time, all the new foliage for the geraniums will come along and we'll remove the canes. And in two months time, you'll never know. People will think it was always like that.